Sophie's down there by my feet. Hi, Hello. everybody. Hi, welcome to our Scout and Cellar wine tasting tonight. Uh, you know, we're new at this, so we're just gonna wing it and see what happens. So, um, we just thought that um, I, I'm new to Scout and Cellar. I'm I'm just started working with this company and, and selling and learning about the, the different wines and everything. So um, what I really liked about it, when I started as a customer, what I really liked about it though was that they have uh, clean crafted wine, which basically means there's there's no synthetic pesticides. It's all grown in small family uh, vineyards. It's all picked by hand. It's produced by hand. Um, there's no added sugars. So uh, there, there's, and it's very low in, in sulfites too. So. Uh, you can feel comfortable and confident that when you're drinking this wine that you're not going to feel yucky the next day. So, no um, yeah, no headaches, no which headaches. I, I posted a little while ago, a couple of days ago about how, uh, for the last 10 years or so, I haven't been able to drink white wine because it always gives me a headache. Uh, so I've just been drinking reds and I discovered some white wines because of the low sulfites and everything. I decided to give it a shot with this company and, um, and these are organic and they're clean crafted. So, you should describe clean crafted to me. <laughs> That's what I was doing before, so clean you weren't crafted. listening. <laughs> I was fixated on the technology. Yes. So, um, uh, but yeah, I, I tried a variety of the whites. I, I'm a Chardonnay fan. That's one of my favorites. And uh, not buttery. No, not yeah. I don't like. I like buttery Chardonnay. Yeah, I like more unoaked Chardonnays, but uh, that are like clean and crisp, kind of tasting. But um, so I, I tried some of their wines. Didn't have any headaches. So I, I was sold. And I, everything that I've tasted so far from this company, I really have enjoyed. There hasn't been anything that I didn't like. So why don't we just go ahead and, and get started here. Uh, we're gonna start with our white blend. Give them a little rundown. From right? Fieldhouse 301. So this is a white blend from California. And uh, so a little description about this one is, it's earthy, crisp, and textured with notes of lemon, Asian pear, river rock, and yellow apple. It says it pairs well with poultry, Asian cuisine, and summer salad. So we still have a little bit of summer, at least down here in Florida. We actually have quite a bit of summer left because it doesn't ever cool down here except maybe, for maybe fish. Like, like two weeks or something. So you're going to have fish? When we're... <laughs> yeah, if you're going to have fish any time of year, that could be good. So, yeah. um, oh, another great thing about some of these wines um, is that uh, a lot of them have uh, like screw tops. Oh, I can't get this one. Can you open that for yes, me? Okay. Thank you, dear. Uh, they have screw tops. So, um, hey, if you're tailgating, it's a great thing to take with you because you don't have to worry about carrying along that the wine over and everything else like that. So you can just twist the top right off and go. So uh, a lot of the wines too would be uh, would be great for not not just this particular brand, but there's a lot that have uh, twist off tops. So hey, cheers. Cheers. It's Wednesday, halfway through the week, a little now, bit later. Now I'm thinking crisp smells like pears. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna have a little apple with mine. It definitely has a little bit of a a, a fruity mm -hmm. aroma to it. And it did say in the description that it has notes of yellow apples, so that's specifically why I bought the yellow apple. So I'm going to give it a taste first, and then I'm going tastes to try like it juice. with it. <laughs> it tastes like apple juice, but better. Yeah. <laughs> Might be a long night. <laughs> try it with a little smoked Wisconsin cheddar. Oh, that sounds... Ooh, I like this. Do you? Oh, yeah. It's, it's fruity and kind of light. It's not, but it, it does have a, a good taste to it. You can actually like oh, yeah. taste it. It's not one of those really light wines that you, you just kind of a little bit on your, it, it has a, a good body to it. I'm, I'm going to try to use some of these professional wine tasting terms. So wait a minute, we have these little knives. Oh, the forks, the little forks. Yes, that's for later, dear. The little knives. Yes. But I have to cut the blue cheese. <laughs> I know, you have to try blue cheese with everything. Crumbly blue. Being, being a, a New Yorker, he has to have blue cheese with everything. That's right. So. Anybody from Central New York that's watching knows what I'm talking about. So, oh my God, it's so good. It's really good. This is delightful. Nothing like crumbly blue cheese in wine. And this is a typical thing for us on a Wednesday night. We sit around and just have wine and cheese and snacks and instead of like going through the emotions of making a whole full meal. Uh, this is typically our Wednesday night tradition. I wonder why that music stopped. No, I, I was playing Yacht Rock so you, got, you guys could hear it. But probably because somebody oh, somebody messaged me. Okay. Never did. Well, I do notice how Oops. the... Uh... Sorry. <laughs> I think maybe my speaker died. Okay, we'll just I leave that I think that's on. why. 
Okay. So, uh, I do notice though that after eating the, the apple with it, that it does kind of bring out a little bit more of the, um, the fruity flavors in there. But so I definitely suggest when you're drinking these wines, it's nice for just sipping and, and kind of having leisurely, but trying different, things. but try different things with it. Cause it totally does and these change are the, the taste. These are the parm crisps. There's just cheese. Oh yeah. The crispy, just cheese. And you probably already know that. Yeah. I am going to try a little bit of the, I'm going to crack over here. Imagine we were on the flame. A little bit of the, we, <laughs> we got the walnuts with the cranberries and the wine. Remember that? Was that when we were coming back from Kansas? Yep. From my son's wedding. Okay. And, and we got really crazy, but it was fun. Well, it was, it was a long flight. So we were uh, making the most of it while we were a lot of stuck on the, the plane <laughs> for, <laughs> for a while, but um, this is actually a, a strawberry uh, spread to go along with a little bit of brie cheese. So I'm going to give this a, a taste here and see Let's how this see goes with the, with the white wine. Yeah. Oh, do you hear me crunching? <laughs> I'm chewing on some prosciutto. <laughs> so it's okay. Oh, that's delicious. It's good, isn't it? No, I have to try it with the wine again. No, drink the wine. Oh, that's really delightful. This, this tastes is, like it'd be a really good, good like, a really good really, summertime wine. Yeah, this is excellent. It's very light with no aftertaste. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, what do you think about Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving coming up. Do you think this would be okay with having with, with turkey? And all, all like the heavier yeah. flavors of, of Thanksgiving? It's not, it, it, it's almost, it, to be honest with you, it's, it's a, almost a hybrid between Chardonnay and Riesling, if I had to describe it. Well, I think it does say that it has a little bit of, as part of the blend, that Chardonnay is in there, but yeah. it was a smaller it's, percentage. I don't know what the names of the other wines in there I've never heard of before, and I can't even pronounce them. French so. Colombard, Vignier, Vignier, how do we say that? Vignier? Mm -hmm. Vignier? Hmm. I have no clue. But it tastes like a mix between a good Riesling and a good Chardonnay. Maybe like a Chateau Saint Michel Riesling, and maybe like a buttery Chardonnay. It has a little bit of a little bit of butter to it. Yeah, I, I don't find that it's as sweet though as a uh, as some of the the Rieslings that we've had before. It's very light. So that was very tasty. That was. It was very good. And this is my first time tasting any of these particular wines. That this all is for my my recent order. I haven't tried. No, mm. sorry. I get a bazillion phone calls every day from all of the, the schools. So, uh, and this is the right time for all of those phone calls to come in. So just so y'all know, we are gonna be posting a link so you can buy these wines from her store. And these are all for sale. They're clean crafted wines. And from what I understand, it's a pretty good deal. Um, if you like good wine, we're tasting them for you. And we'll, we'll, we'll post the link in the video. We're gonna put it on Facebook, on Instagram, and on our YouTube channel. So we will, after we're done with the video tonight, we will definitely do all of that. So you'll be able to buy this wine. I don't know the price of it, um, but she can post that later, you know? Yes, and the um, and all of my posts that I put on Instagram and Facebook, um, I always put a shopping link in the, the first comment down below. So if you click on that link, it'll take you right to the Scout & Cellar website. Um, I currently have like an online uh, tasting going on right now, a little like tasting party. So if you if you order, it just goes through uh, through that little grouping. But as soon as you order, it, it, it'll automatically start processing and it'll ship your, your order when you're ready. So the next one, I'm going to let the lady. Okay. So this is um, Galavant and it is a California rosé wine, a rosé. So I'm not really much of a rosé drinker. I kind of find them to typically be like a little bit too sweet for me, but I kind of, I read the description and it, I, the things that it said to pair it with, I was like, okay, I can give that a try and we can see, you know, if maybe it kind of cuts a little bit of the sweetness depending on, on what you have it with. So but, would you do the honors for me again? Thank you. But this wouldn't be the same uh, thing as like Wild Irish Rose, right? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> or Mad Dog 2020. Definitely not Mad Dog. <laughs> We've all gone through some pretty mad dog nights. <laughs> well, yes, and this definitely will not leave you feeling like after you've had mad dog either. No, definitely not. It's very, again, it's very, it's organic and very light and fruity. Cheers. Salud. Okay, let's see. What's your initial 
impression. It's not as sweet as I thought it would be. It's not. It's light. It is very light. Not effervescent. This one uh, tastes a little bit more earthy to me mm -hmm. than the, the white blend that but we light. just had. Yeah, it is light. And like this is, again, something that I, I, I could see myself uh, drinking outside on a on a hot day. Yeah. And not feel, you know, sometimes you have Absolutely. those heavier wines and you're just kind of like, eh, it's too much. You know, when you get these chilled wines, these are great for the summertime and even the early fall. They're great chilled wines, you know. I'm a beer guy. I, like, I love beer, too. But these are great. I mean, these are definitely great. Okay. So this one, I remember it saying that it had a, uh, a description of... Uh, it did have like hints of or notes of cherry in it. You just flip up on the thing. Here, I'll let you. Yes. I'll let you. Sorry. <laughs> He's my technical support. <laughs> there. So I'm gonna take a little bit of of dried cherry here. I have some walnut stuck to it as well. I think so I'll do that too. I'm gonna give this a try. See. But so the Gallivant Rosé. It says. Lively and refreshing with strawberry, red cherry, and fresh watermelon balanced by a subtle salinity on a dry, well-textured frame with a clean finish. Well, that's a lot to say. And I'm surprised I could say it with food in my mouth. Um, so, you can see it definitely has, like, fruity notes to it. But it is subtle. It's not overpowering. Mm -hmm. I definitely think that you could enjoy this with, um, with uh, salads, maybe. Mm -hmm. That have some fruit in it and fish. Yeah, probably go well with fish. With fish, mm -hmm. definitely. Maybe with like an Alfredo. Maybe. Really, you think? Yeah, maybe with a, a, a stronger, creamy Alfredo. Yeah, maybe a little Alfredo. Mm -hmm. It's it's not bubbly. Rosé typically is a bubbly wine. This isn't a bubbly wine. Well, you can get the sparkling rosés, but yeah, I you know what I, I do agree with you because this would kind of cut the um, the richness of, of the, the Alfredo, Alfredo sauce. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's why I'm trying with the smoked cheddar to see what it does. Hmm, I'm going to try with some for you, though. Definitely cuts the richness of the cheese. Does it? Mm-hmm. All right, that's good to try know. Try the crumbly bloom. <laughs> she hates crumbly bloom. No, sorry. I'm just, I'm not a big fan. Who doesn't like blue cheese with wings? <laughs> I mean... Now, we also have that, uh, what is that, Havarti? Or is that Brie? We have Brie, mm -hmm. blue cheese, pepper jack, and a smoked cheddar. Let me try a little Brie. But that Brie has that waxy stuff on it, right? No. I can it's do a little this. bit of a crust, but it's not. I know, it's just the two of us. If we were here with a, a, an actual room full of people wine taste, and we'd have a little bit more coot. I wouldn't be so rude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a rude cuss. <laughs> but I'm her cuss. Yes. So, yes. give me it. <laughs> now, I'm noticing with the prosciutto, it almost kind of takes uh, more of the, uh, it enhances like the saltiness mm. of the meat. Right. But I can still, the, the sweetness, it's kind of, it's one of those like really great balances of sweet and salty. You know what? I'm going to just say this. I'm noticing there's a peppery in the back of the throat hmm. with this. Really? Because I didn't see that in the description they have online. And all the all the descriptions that I'm reading to you are straight from the Scout and Cellar website. When you click on the wine, you can read a lot more about um, the different things and, and the vineyard that it comes from if you want to learn more about it. Um, I also wanted to let you know, too, that if you, if you place an order, you can order wines bottles individually. Mm -hmm. You can also create your own, um, what they call it, half case with six bottles. Uh, if you order that, then uh, you get a 5% discount and you get free shipping. You can create an account on there too, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, you, you create an account on there and then and you can order. You can join their, their circle club and uh, so you can uh, do like a recurring order and you can go in and change the wines that you want to put on there for every time and you can set it for how little or how often you want the wines to, to come in. And you also then have access to uh, specific wines as part of the circle that just a normal shopper won't have access to. So uh, there's a, a few things that I've been able, now that I'm selling the wines, I, I have access to some of those those wines. So our plan is to keep doing this uh, on, on Wednesdays and, and sampling different wines to just kind of give you a better idea of... More or less for fun. Well, yeah, we're I mean, going to do it anyway, so we might as well... This is what we do on Wednesday nights. <laughs> we this might is what we do. Well, 
make a video about it and you know maybe it'll inspire you to buy some wine and and uh, be turned on to to this this company if you're watching this you probably drink wine anyway so if you're a wine drinker and you love wine you know that varying levels of costs and prices of wines but i can tell you right now when you buy the cheaper wines you really do get that feeling if you drink two, three glasses, maybe four glasses of it. You don't, you... Well, and you kind of get that funk the next day with all the, the yucky stuff that, that and a lot of the regular store-bought wines uh, have with, they, with the pesticides and other things that they use in there and they add sugars and everything. It just kind of slugs you down the next day. It does. And you won't have that feeling whenever you're drinking these wines. Now, these are all very clean wines. I can, I can taste it in both of these. And I, I've had them before and they're very, very, very good. So we are going to have some... You ready to move on? No, I'm not. No? <laughs> You're going to sample some more. I want to try the apple. The apple. No. Okay. Now, there's some cheese left over on my glass. Okay. But I'll suck that off after I eat the apple. <laughs> I'm going to try a little bit of the smoked cheddar with one of these uh, like garlic and cheese little cracker dealies. So this is dinner? Mm-hmm. So there's not going to be a dinner? I don't know. You want Alfredo for dinner? <laughs> no. How we have a heavy Alfredo dinner to finish these wines off tonight? It'll be fun. We're gonna finish off the rest of these wines. I'll saute some mushrooms. That's a lot of wine. And, and like like my glass says, I said that this wine tastes like I'm not going to work tomorrow. If we finish all three of these bottles, I don't think I'd We're be going into to work, work tomorrow. We're probably not going to work tomorrow. <laughs> we'll probably just sleep in. Why not? <laughs> sleep is a wonderful thing. It is. You know, I've discovered if you get nine hours of sleep a night, you feel so good the next day. But comment, tell us, who gets nine hours of sleep a night? Not me. <clears throat> I'm upgrading papers. She is, but it's okay. So here's the deal. I'd like to do is in upcoming episodes, you, we could do uh, giveaways. Yes. So I also um, am partnered with a company called Tate and Zoe. And that's our wine glasses that we're drinking from tonight with these cute little messages on them are, are part of the, the products in that wine. I don't know if you can see behind us up here, my little picture holder, uh, it says little moments, big memories. Mm -hmm. It's real cute. It's very easy to change all the pictures in this frame up here. So you can constantly keep what, you know, the, the newer pictures and keep it updated in there on what you like. Um, but we have a whole lot of different things on there. Some of my jewelry that I have on tonight. Oh, it's also from from Tate and Zoe. It's a gifting company. It's it's meant for you to look for for gifts that you can buy and 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 send to other people. It's very simple to get on an order or something and have it shipped straight them straight to them. And it's it's so cute. It comes into a box and when you open it up, it's got this little confetti in and it says you've been gifted. And it's really cute. And you can send a special like individual message on there too. But. Um, but it's, it, they have lots of glassware and wine related items. So that's kind of the reason why I got into, uh, into both of the companies together at the same time. Oh, you forgot your, uh, your, I freaking love cheese towel. Hold on. Oh, I'll be right back. There's a whole line of, of, of really cute dish towels that have little sayings on them. Uh, and I, I bought this dish towel for, for Joel because he does literally love cheese if you know him at all. Uh, so this is like heaven to him when you see all these cheeses on the, the board over here. This is like his perfect night. Oh yeah, baby. It's going to be a fun <laughs> night tonight. We're going to have a great time tonight. Yes, his I freaking love cheese dish towel. <laughs> Can you see it? There you go. Da, 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 da. So, honestly, who doesn't love cheese unless you're lactose intolerant? Well, I have <laughs> IBS, but I'm not going to talk about that publicly. Oh, but cheese isn't going to affect that. No, it doesn't. It, it, the cheese is more binding. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready to move on. You ready to move on? You got to okay. pour me some more wine. Okay, now this, you have to describe this after I pour it. Okay. So we have a red blend coming up. All the wines tonight have been blends of different wines. They're all from California. <laughs> This one is called The Resident. It's a red wine. It's from the north coast of California. Here you go, you can see it a little bit better. So this particular wine, I don't know, smell it and tell me what you think. What, what do you smell? Blackberries, currants. <clears throat> okay. No smoky. 
nothing smoky. Okay, so uh, this is a blend of Zim Vendel and Petite Syrah. Ooh, bite. It says, earthy and bold with a beautiful texture. This blend of Zinfandel and Petite Syrah features notes of blackberry compote, cherry pie, Mediterranean herbs, and blueberry bramble. Mm. So maybe the, what the, the little bite you're getting is the Mediterranean herbs, because those might have a little bit of bite to them. I like that. I yeah. think we're going to finish that one tonight. Okay. That's a good one. I love that peppery. All right, so let me see. It's almost like a Shiraz. It really? Tastes like, it you tastes, think so? It tastes like a Shiraz. If any of you ever had Shiraz, I'm a big fan of red Zinfandel, but you're right. This does have more of a peppery. You like it, don't you? A peppery taste to it. Now it, I must try this with the with crumbly blue. No, not ah. with crumbly blue, <laughs> with a little bit of cheddar, the smoked cheddar. I must do a little bit of the brie. Look at that big hunk of brie. Oh yeah, this really like rich cheese with the peppery. That brie is very earthy. You think so? It has a moldy, earthy taste to it. Really? I didn't get that at all. Well, I had it with the, the strawberry little compote. It's brie, it's mold, it's mold, right? It's mm -hmm. like, cr like crumbly blue is mold, basically. I think I mean, all cheese is mold, honey. <laughs> it is, it's, it's just what it is. But oh, I know that's interesting. So I just had the cheddar and then I took a sip of the wine afterwards and I don't have as much of that peppery bite afterwards. You had the smoked cheddar? Yeah, the smoked cheddar with the, with, with the wine afterwards. The, the and I didn't take, no, I didn't do the spicy yet. I haven't tried that. That's a cheddar jack. <clears throat> but I'm trying to, oh, I wanted to try the parm crisp with mm -hmm. it next, so I have to finish this. This is very good, just so you know. You we know. are more partial to reds than to whites. We'll just say that, and we'll say that. I'm open to trying different things. But I do like, I, I have to tell you guys, both of these, both, oops, both of these white, <laughs> the rosé and the white, that's too much to drink. Mm -hmm are very, very light and fruity. And I can tell you right now, if you like a light, bouncy wine, this, these are both very light and bouncy. And worth it. Definitely worth it. I don't, did I order those? Mm. What did I order? I think you may have ordered the rosé. You definitely ordered some white, but I don't think it was the I white one. I ordered wine. that one. Some of these, I think, are newer uh, uh, brands that they have at the, the store, too. And you'll notice, too, that a lot of the a lot of the brands, they rotate through the different ones because they're smaller farms. They have smaller uh, batches, right? Is that smaller what batches, is? right. Yeah. So when they sell out of a particular wine, then you have to wait for them to regrow the grapes and go through the process of, of making the, the next batch and everything else. So a lot of times then what they'll bring in is a, another variety from that brand, but it, it'll just be it'll just be a, a cab or it'll just be a... Um, but a they're small batches. Pinot no Noir. Right. So you really, you want to get in and, and there's always something new to taste is basically what I'm saying. And if there's something that you really liked that you like, there was a, a one of the, the brands of Pinot Noir that I, that I, I loved, but it's sold out right now because it, they, they ran out of the, the batch that they made. So we have to wait until they're able to, to regrow and reprocess those. But there's lots of other, uh, other Pinot Noirs. That's the one that I liked. That's, and their website's really easy to use. I mean, I was yeah. on there was, and I'm a web developer, as you know. And their website is very easy to use. Buy six bottles of wine, free shipping. And I have, my six are coming tomorrow. I got the notice from FedEx that I has to be somebody over 21 at the house. That sign. is one of the things too. You have to make sure that somebody is there at the house when they deliver because you do have to sign for it and they have to show that they're they're 21 or over. Right. Uh, so it's a little added security for to make sure that it doesn't fall in the, the wrong hands. Teenage hands. That's right. We don't want teenagers. No. My teenager does not like alcohol thankfully she probably would like uh, white claw or the uh, mick ultra <laughs> seltzers uh, i don't know she's she says it like she's had a little small taste of it and she said it just it doesn't taste very good it doesn't have much of a taste to it but i don't know we had bartles and james and we were all younger <laughs> and zima zima oh my god zima you could squirt a little fruit juice into it no don't you remember <clears throat> we would drop a jolly rancher in the bottle oh yeah and you could jolly change, rancher, you could change watermelon. the flavor Oh, yeah. That was unbelievable. We're dating ourselves. We have to stop. We are. Uh, <laughs> we are. You should have seen our first date. It was unbelievable. <laughs> the things that we talked about, it would make your skin crawl. But anyways, no, the Zima with the watermelon, you know, I can't even imagine. Can you imagine drinking six or seven of those and getting up the next morning? I mean, oh, no. Zima? 
I think I did, and I was probably pretty sick. Well, but. you definitely won't have that sensation when you're drinking these wines. Mm -mm. And there's also an added bonus, too, whenever, if you Ooh. decide you want to try to order more. What's the matter? The cheese has got a little bite. Ah! <laughs> Um, if you decide you want to order more, if you order a full case, and again, you can mix and match whichever ones you want, but if you order a full case, which would be 12 bottles, you get 10% off and you still get your free shipping. Mm -hmm. So the, the more you buy, the, the better discount that you have. But you can, if you want to just sample a couple of bottles, you can order how much or how little that you want uh, when you're, and, and they have really great descriptions if you click on the lines so you can kind of get a better idea. I know it's kind of hard when you haven't had a chance to taste it first before you buy it, but quite frankly, right, when you go to the grocery store and you're buying your wine from there, you pick up the bottle, you're like, oh, this has a cute label, okay, I'll give it a try. You don't even know what it's gonna taste like. So you're like. thinking that they, that they buy wine just because of the label? Well, I do sometimes. I do too, I'll admit it. I'm a sucker too if it has like a dog on the label. Or if it's BOGO. I'm like, oh, that's really no. <laughs> cute. I've got to try that. Oh, yeah, especially if it's BOGO. I'm dog, like, hey, I'll give it a try. If there's a dog or a puppy. Where's the puppy? We need the puppy. She's hiding around here somewhere. We do have a puppy. <laughs> Maybe she'll make an appearance in the next video. Wait, so Sophie. Sophie. Oh, yeah. If you, if you tempt her with, with, with snacks. I just heard her cough. She'll come running. Sophie. Where is she? <laughs> gotcha. She's going to say hi. Hi, so. She's in desperate need of a haircut. She's getting very shaggy right now. You can barely see her eyes. I did lure her in with a cracker, but I didn't give her the cracker though. Well, she's a sucker for snacks. <laughs> she definitely loves snacks. Oh, are you giving kisses? Oh, thank you. Yes, thank you. She's trying to lick the cheese off your mouth. <laughs> well, she definitely can't get to my wine. No, she can't. She can't have any of that. But she's a star now, mm -hmm. look. <laughs> she's a star, look everybody. So, okay. well, we hope you guys enjoyed tonight. It's kind of silly. We, you know, we're, we're just, we're, we're giving this a try. Yes. And, and hoping that you guys will join us. And uh, we're going to do it every Wednesday. Yeah, we're, that, that's our goal is to try to do it every Wednesday. So we're going to eat cheese, drink wine. Yeah. And maybe you could join us. You could get, you can jump in the group. I can see that Jess already liked it. <laughs> Hi, Jess. How you doing? Congratulations, by the way. Congratulations. Did you guys drink wine at your wedding? <laughs> uh, I think that's a must, yes. <laughs> so, all right. Well, everybody, have a great night, and um, hopefully we will see you next week. Next week, yes. Okay. Well, if I'm here. Okay. Well, if you're not in town, then we'll have to Well, we could do a joint one. Yeah. We could just we'll jump in. We'll Technology do these days. We'll do a it's Zoom amazing. call. Right? All right. <laughs> Bye, everybody. See you later. Just to turn it off. <laughs>